Our story begins billions of years ago, when colliding stars blasted gold particles out into the universe. They eventually found their way to planet Earth, and by some twist of fate, our destiny became intertwined with this cosmic metal in a remote beach town in Nova Scotia. We left Los Angeles to find a property in nature. It's always been a dream of ours to create a space for people to enjoy the healing powers of nature and sound. Hello everyone, I'm here in Nova Scotia on the Eastern Shore where we are setting up a nature and sound healing sanctuary for ourselves and also to share with everyone. It is a beautiful, incredible property as you can see that borders the ocean. And then behind me is the house, which I'm gonna take you on a little tour of. There's VB. The main part of the house here was built in the late 1940s. There's a staircase going up. I'll show you that part in a minute. And beautiful dining room and this living room part. The whole addition over here was built in the mid 80s. It gets so much sunlight. Such beautiful rooms. Ha <laughs> ha, there's a picture of Phoebe. There's our electric car in front and then a beautiful ocean view record player of course and then we have a wood burning stove which really helps a lot it keeps the heat pretty even throughout the room so that's really nice and there is a fireplace there as well we have another entrance here as you can see it goes out to the deck and this is sort of what they call a mud room so we have our boots and all of our coats here and then such a cute little kitchen. I've repainted a lot of this kitchen. It was red and sort of like an off-white and I've repainted everything white. I'm still working on some of the trim. Hello, palm plant. And then here's a amethyst crystal. And then this is the room where we have been recording all of the sound baths. It will probably eventually be our bedroom, but right now it's a bit of a studio. And we're gonna go back up that staircase that I showed you. Oh, there's Phoebe. Phoebe, come in. Hi. Were you enjoying the sun out there? We're going upstairs. And so this rug is probably pretty old. We're gonna rip it up at some point and check out what is underneath it. But there are three rooms up here which can make really cute guest rooms. There is a beautiful ocean view from this room. It's just so gorgeous. And right now Seth is in here, the little music studio. And another room back here, which we're planning to completely update and redo. It'll be a very cute guest room. So we're at the uh, back of our property here where there's this little bluff here that's overlooking this cove, which leads out to the ocean. And right now this whole area is filled with Japanese knotweed, which is an invasive species. So right now we're just working on clearing these weeds out and restoring this area to its natural state and making an area down here for camping and meditating and, uh, and hanging out. We're working on clearing out an old trail that runs from here down to a little creek here in the woods and then down to the beach. It's very, very dense here. It looks like, uh, like little elves and fairies live in the forest here. I'm really excited to get onto this trail and uh, Start clearing it out so we can uh, go and find out exactly what's inside here. This is going to be the location of our yurt right here. It's got a really nice windbreak because of these trees. 
and it's relatively flat right now. So we're just gonna clear this some more. Uh, and really that for us, that's our goal, you know, just finding a nice spot to build a yurt, a nice place to just be and meditate and relax. So that's what we're doing. Phoebe's helping. We originally became interested in Nova Scotia because I have ancestry out here. My great grandfather was a shipbuilder and he left Nova Scotia when he was 19 and moved to Fall River, Massachusetts. And when we came here, we came to the Eastern shore and found this extraordinary landscape, just so beautiful, natural, pristine. And we found this amazing property in Seal Harbor, and we thought we could create a nature sanctuary here, preserve and protect and replenish the land and create a space for people to get away from the sounds of the city and busy, hectic schedules and just really be here in nature in this beautiful environment. As we started exploring our three acre property and the surrounding communities, we started discovering something really interesting. Oh, wow. Abandoned houses everywhere. We'd see these beautiful houses, but then we'd also see a number of abandoned houses. And just wondering what happened in this community? Why would this seemingly beautiful, pristine environment have all these abandoned houses in it? As we dug a little deeper, we realized that there is a history of gold mining in the area. Goldboro, right next to Seal Harbor, is literally a community founded on gold. What did this mean for the natural environment? There has been water contamination and contamination in the soil that has really started to replenish itself over the past 80 years or so. There are seals swimming in our harbor. There are bald eagles landing on the mound out there. There are minks and ferrets. There are rare birds that land here in the yard and on the islands offshore. When you let nature do its thing, it can heal and repair itself. But there's another level to this mystery unfolding. Stay tuned for more gold in Nova Scotia.